So this is the newest addition to my existing Canon FD vintage cinema lens set. And cinema lenses, please take that with a grain of salt because I know that these are not like your typical real cinema lenses because these are not color matched. These are not all the exact same height, the exact same size and the exact same weight across all different lenses. And they don't have the focus ring as well as the aperture ring in the exact same spot across all different lenses. So how can we make this lens look and function the way that these three lenses do? And by function, I mean being able to mount these lenses directly onto my main camera, which is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, the original one, because these lenses have all been converted from Canon FDN to Canon EF. And the conversion process is actually very simple, and that's exactly what this video is about. But before we convert this lens to Canon EF, let's talk about how much did I spend for all of these four lenses. All in all, I did spend a little bit less than 400 euros for all the lenses and all the conversions which brings the price down to roughly around 100 euros per lens and conversion. So there you have it, that's the price if you're thinking about building your own set. But now let's convert this 135 from Canon FDN to Canon EF. And the first thing you should do is press in this silver button right here and remove the rear lens cap. Because the first thing that we're gonna do is remove this silver ring in the back right there. And you can do so by removing the three screws around the outer ring here and here, and another one here. And all you really need for this is a very, very small screwdriver. So let's start by removing the first screw and this goes very easily. But sometimes if you have really bad luck as I have with this copy right here, a simple screwdriver won't be enough to remove the screws because these have been in there for 30, 40, or even 50 years. So what we need is one of these with a very, very tiny 1.5 millimeter drill. Get a good grip on your lens and go very slowly. And then the only thing that you have to do is use your screwdriver, go a little bit under that silver ring and just lift it up very carefully. And now you can just take it out like this. Hey, sorry for the abrupt interruption, but this might be really important for you. If by any chance you would wanna win this camera right here, that's the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II or a 14 inch M3 MacBook or a DJI RS Pro combo, or any of the other amazing prices totaling in over $22,000 in value, then you should pay very close attention for the next few seconds. Because Motion VFX is hosting their annual editing contest. Starting April 8th, you will have four weeks to craft your personal showreel, but please follow these steps to be eligible to win any of those amazing prices. First of all, post a video until the end of May 7th, across your social media channels, which include Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, any other social media platform. Secondly, you have to use the hashtag mshowreelchallenge in the title of the video. Also, you have to include a link to the challenge into the post, as well as tag motion VFX. And once you've done all of that, just head to the website and submit the form that you find there, and the winners will be announced by May 14th. Plus, there's a bonus, as they always do, they're giving away a pack for free that is specifically designed for this contest, and you will find a link to that in the description below this video. But you better make those cuts quickly, as you only have four weeks until the end of May 7th, 2024. But I believe in you, you got this, and thank you Motion VFX for sponsoring this video. Now you can see the mount without the silver ring, and what you have to do is turn this clockwise, until you hear a slight click. And once you hear the click, you can take this apart, just lift it up. I'm gonna take a bigger screwdriver because we have to remove another three screws. We have to remove this screw, this screw, and this one over here. And just remember the position of each of those screws. This one right here is slightly lighter gray than the other two. So I'm gonna put that to the front because when we later add our own mount, these have to be mounted in the exact same spots. So the one with the lighter color just faces more towards the camera and the other ones to the side. And I'm just gonna unscrew them. So now we can just lift off this ring and put it to the side. And now we have the aperture ring, which we can lift off carefully. And there you see this tiny little metal ball. And if you remove that, that means we're de-clicking the aperture, which I wanna do, so I'm just gonna remove that. And once you remove the metal ball from the aperture ring to de-click the aperture, put that to the side and take your lens. And you can see that there is a metal ring around the outside right here. 
just take that, put that to the side as well, because we don't need that anymore. Now we're gonna need something what's called an aperture arm. And this aperture arm is from a 3D printing company called Shapeways, based in the Netherlands. And this will help you to control the aperture. Prior to this, the aperture arm was built into the actual mount from the original Canon FD lens, this metal arm right there. But because this does no longer go onto the lens and we're gonna use our own mount, we have to use this aperture arm right here. And I will leave a link to the aperture arms as well as to the Canon EF mounts in the description below this video. These are not affiliate links whatsoever. It's just the products that I use to convert these lenses. Now, once we have this black aperture arm, we first have to put back on our aperture ring. Just put it on and now you can see it fits on perfectly and you can twist it. And if you watch here, you will notice a black nose um, on this ring and on the inside there is a metal nose or whatever what that's called. This is to control the aperture. Take the aperture arm pointing downwards and put it over this metal thing inside your lens and now rearrange the aperture ring so that it fits perfectly on top of this black nose right here. Now if I'm gonna hold this in place and see that I can control the aperture very smoothly without any clicks whatsoever. And now we're almost finished. Now comes the last part, mounting the actual Canon EF mount. You have to just remember the screw positions as I've said in the beginning of this video. So now you can see we have the rear Canon EF mount and we're able to control our aperture very smoothly. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a EF lens cap. And once we have the rear lens cap on, let's twist it around. I already have the custom made lens cap as well as a step up ring here and these step up rings and lens caps are from a french company called precisious and they have amazing products but the best part is about the lens caps you could choose one of the many redesigned templates or you could completely start from scratch and design your own custom template so now i just have to screw this on and we're done. So that's really all the information you need to convert your own Canon FDN lenses to Canon EF. Let me know your thoughts about this video and whether or not you would love to see an image quality test of these lenses. I'd be more than happy to do that. Otherwise, gonna see you next week. Bye.